Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So, we've got a raised bed built, and now we're gonna start doing Hugo culture. So, throwing in tree stumps, sticks, other like kind of like decayed matter, throwing that in the bottom to use the filler for the bottom part of the bed. And really this is more of a record of what I did. That way, you know, four years from now when this bed rots out, it should be interesting to see how much the logs have disappeared but going in first with these big ones so these were I think an oak and this one we cut down probably about four years ago so it's had some time to decay but really not as much as say this one so this one was one that the previous owners of the house had cut down so cut down before 2015 so we're talking at least eight years worth of decay so this one's actually gone pretty far so this will be the next one going in but real quick I just wanted to get a good look at how I laid this out that way when we check this out later we'll be like wow a lot of stuff moved or boy that didn't do a whole lot because it'll be interesting to see if you really want to be like splitting this up a little bit more or if you can drop in whole stumps kind of like what I'm doing here you can kind of see there's the old decayed log, there's that younger log, there's another big younger log, there's the old decayed and old decayed, the really big newer log, and then pieces of the old one. So that big one that looked like a weird cape, I went up trimming that one down, that way that all fills in. And this will be kind of like following the how full is your cup exercise. So this is full of logs, now it's time to make it full of plant and other matter and then it'll be time to fill it with dirt <laughs> so let's get cracking all right then we got a bunch of lawn waste in there we're starting to throw some of the dirt back in all right so we got this pretty filled up took everything we had from the tarp threw that on here had to pick out a whole bunch of rocks, <laughs> which I definitely recommend because, you know, depending on what you want to grow in it, if it has deep enough roots, you know, if it hits a rock, it can do weird stuff. So if you're growing potatoes or something like that or carrots or something like that. So plus, I don't think I'm going to fill the bed quite completely because there's going to never be going to be air gaps. So we're about to take a quick break, but I'm going to hit this with some water try and get everything kind of knocked down a little bit and it'll be interesting to see when we come back out if it's down a good bit or if it's down just a little bit but for the most part we are up into like the second board some spots pretty high up in the second board some spots not that high up in the second board so it's been a couple months and as you can see the bed was filled <laughs> planted into the strawberries put some straw down and everything's been growing pretty good so essentially after we watered it down it didn't really shrink that much and then I needed to fill in the rest of the bed so we went with some miracle Grow, the performance organics so the like the black and yellow bags they have and stuff like that to kind of like fill in the rest of it and I used in-ground soil which I mean you know it's a little bit of a weird choice for a raised bed because the nice thing about a raised bed is that you can put in whatever you want. But with them being strawberries, and I kind of want to make sure everything else kind of works its way down eventually. Plus it was on sale. <laughs> it was hard to argue with it. So, so far, everything's been going really good. It was pretty easy filling the bed. I haven't had a lot of compaction as far as I can tell. And then on kind of like days like today where it was kind of rainy, I have been watching and then looking for any like worms and stuff like that and throwing them in here as well just to try and make sure that it's kind of built up and has like a good um, biome. That's the word I'm looking for. So, so far, pretty happy with it. It's going to be really interesting to see in a few years when this bed starts to break down and stuff like that. 
what the logs wind up looking like underneath. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll check it next time.